da 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 Here we go. Welcome gamers. Welcome everyone to the first guild campaign. Hosted by me, Woods. Of course, you you knew that already. Who fucking cares? But today is the beginning of an epic quest. Not only for these two beautiful peoples with me, but for everyone that will be joining us in the next sessions. This campaign will be in the world of Alkia, a world conquered by a human empire and with other, well, other races. Though some races are being pressured by society, even beaten, some die. Life is not beautiful, yet life is peaceful in the empire. People just glance over the horrible things. With that, this is not the story of those horrible things. This is the story of a few adventurers from a guild, the Guild of Adventurers of Alkia, who will bring peace, one way or another, to this land broken by time and war. This is the story of great adventurers. Let's see how it all goes. And this big quest for Alkia. Will they be successful in their quest for peace? You'll just have to see in the guild campaign. Alright, that was a good intro. That was a good intro. Alright, Sock, Josh, you can unmute yourselves. Alright. Welcome everyone, welcome to the uh, guild campaign. No, this is not Star Wars music, this is uh, Harbringer, which is another good song. But anyways, uh... As I said, welcome to the Guild Campaign today. We have Sock. Say hi, Sock. Hello, hello. Sock, you want to shout out to a few things, maybe something where we can find you? <laughs> Sock? What? <laughs> All right, you can find Sock oh, on her oh, Twitch. Oh. One, <laughs> one Sock deep. I'm sorry. Hey, we talking? Yeah, we're talking. We're talking, Josh. Hey. All right, so just uh, all right. So sock, where can we find you? Come on. Uh, Twitch.tv, uh, the one sock thief. All right, and That's Josh. That's where I'm most active. Josh, hmm. where can we find you? You can find me on Twitch.tv slash uh, Josh the Eatmaster, or go follow me on Twitter, which is the same thing. So. All right. Very yeah. good. Very good. With that, let's not waste any time and get right into this first session. So I encourage you guys to, you can kill it in chat. You don't have to watch the stream. You can listen to it because obviously there will be no visuals during the stream. It's only going to be audio. And it's a D&D campaign. I'll give you more information about uh, what you can do to join it later on. Because yes, this is the guild campaign. We will not be only two players. You can join the streams. You can join... Uh, you can join the the, the 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 games outside of the streams because I will be doing a lot of games. Good day, Melly. All right. Anyways, uh, let's start with character introductions. Just tell us what you want the stream to know, and the rest of them they'll have to learn by watching the stream. So, Sock, how about you start introducing yourself, name, and a bit of a physical description. Okay. Uh, well, I my name is Sasha. I am a halfling. Um, a lightfoot halfling. I am... I am a druid. And I'm kind of like a happy-go-lucky kind of person. Uh, very, very shy, very kept to herself. But, uh, you know, we'll see more once uh, we get this thing started. Alright. And what about you, Josh? Alright. Uh, my character is uh, Dahlia, the druid tiefling. Um, which is gonna be interesting in this campaign because we have two uh, druids. 
<laughs> Druid Squad. Druid Squad, um, indeed. Yes. Um, uh, she wears a, a wooden mask to hide her tiefling appearance. Uh, nice, like, horns that look like wood. Nothing much. Wearing a cloak and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's basically it. Well, that's perfect. All right. Let's get right into it. Here we go. This is where your adventure starts, in the town of Timbertown. Timbertown is commonly known as that one town with the guild hall in it. Either that is a good thing or a bad thing is for the individual to decide. Its main trade is lumber and housing for the guild members of the Adventurers Guild. A few markets here and there, but most trade is done in the guild hall itself. There are no guards in Timbertown. Sometimes a few Imperial patrols from Silver Star, which is just a day away, pass, but nothing too bad. Law has never been seen as too strict here, and a lot of things pass under the nose of the Empire. So with that, we actually have our first character making an entrance here. Sasha, as you're walking down the cobblestone road, you see trees to your left and right. The pines being blown in the wind, the leaves rustling. You then come to notice before you, smoke coming from the village itself. But not in a fire type of way, more like small chimneys. So you happily skip towards, well, the village itself as you make it to Timbertown. Arriving there, you see plenty of different faces, humans, dwarves, elves, all mixed together, being jolly and happy. They're all having a good time, doing their work, being honest and good people. As you make it to the guild hall itself, a history itself can be seen in the building and the structure, from the dragon head just above the entrance of the door, to the great chimney blowing a very dark smoke. It's three floors with an observatory. Observatory, my bad. It seems very rich with story. As you push both doors with all your force, you see inside plenty of people raising ale even though it's very early in the morning. You see people eating, diving their heads in what seems to be an abundant amount of food. And you feel and smell that fresh of sweat, blood, and beer. You look around to see tables, and in front of you, well, a bar. To the right of the bar, what seems to be a door with a chest as its, well, frame. And to the left, what seems to be a giant furnace with a door. Now, Sasha, what do you do? Oh, I take in the view, and I just, I enjoy how lively it feels in here. Um, I'm going to go up to the counter and order a drink. All right, good. As you approach the counter, you see the patrons of the place looking at you with curiosity. You even hear a few voices go, Oh, I think this that's a new recruit right there. As they point towards you. Some people are betting if you're a boy or a girl. Some people are just calling you out and calling you a recruit, a little newbie. As you make it to the counter, though, you put both hands as tall as you can on the counter. Looking down upon you is a lady with long white hair and also two shining blue eyes. A little bit of freckles around her nose and a round face. Good day. Can I help you? Well, hello. Uh, I, I'd like to uh, order a drink. Her, her cheeks get a little red from the attention. She's not used to it at all. Ah, yes, of course. Are you from the surrounding village? She says as she pours you a drink. Uh, Jamil. From around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I see. All right. What's your trade? Uh... I, I'm, I'm, yeah, well, I'm here, and, uh, um, and she just kind of, she kind of a little flustered at just, like, the, the conversation in general. She's like, I'd, I'd like a drink, please. It's all right, it's all right, girl. 
Don't worry. It's all fine. Here's your drink. And she lowers down to your level. It seems to be a red ale. An imperial red ale. Now, tell me. <sighs> you don't seem to have any trade. Are you here to become an adventurer of the guild? Yes. Yes, quite so. I am. I, I you know, I'd, I'd like to go out and see the world for what it is. Ah, huh. I see. The adventuring type. It's exactly what we want here. Let me call uh, the guildmaster. He'll be right here in no, no time. She turns to the right, and she uh, walks towards the door, where you see, sitting right next to that door, sitting on a chair, a masked figure with a hood, looking directly at you. Oh. Dahlia, this is you. I'll just watch it. <laughs> Good. All right. As Ori passes next to you, Dahlia, she opens the door and goes right in. And you hear her talk from behind the door. Guildmaster, uh, we have more initiates. They, they should be ready for the quest now. Ah, perfect then. I'll try. To give them a good quest, that is. All right. The door opens again. Ori comes out. And you see her smile at you, Dahlia. And then go directly to Sasha. Sasha, Ori comes up to you, this time from your side of the counter, and goes, as to lowering to your level, getting on her knees. Ah, well, you see, the Guildmaster is currently looking for a quest to give to you initiates. As for the rule here in the Guild is, well, you must complete a quest to become one of us and get the insignia. Uh, uh, of course, yes, a quest. <sighs> This is so exciting. I mean, it's understandable. Everyone's first quest is very exciting. Anyways, I'll give you a quick tour of the place while we're at it. Uh, that person over there already gave a tour. I mean, actually, already received a tour. Their name is Dahlia, and they're a masked figure. She puts her hand, hiding her mouth from Dahlia, and she whispers to you, Nobody knows truly what she is. People say she might even be a boy. Oh. It's truly interesting. Interesting. Yes. Anyways, come with me. And she starts walking you through the guild hall. As she walks to the right side of the bar, you see, once again, the door shaped like a chest. She pushes both doors, actually, to reveal big wheels on each side of the door inside of it, actually. And you see gear rotating constantly. And at the end of this big room with gears turning with gear on it, you see a, well, a table with someone sitting behind it. Very old, crouched, well, more sitting on a chair, and reading a book, an elven fellow. Already turns to you and says, that right there is a man we call Tetty. He is the banker for the guild, and also, he is the one that takes care of all business of trade and all that. So if you're ever looking for some equipment, he is your man. Or elf, depending on how you see it. Anyways, this way, as you leave, wow. you hear Tetty go, I oh, not too fast. Oh, what is it now, Tetty? Who is this recruit? Uh, she's new. Don't bother her, Tetty. No, uh. I truly wish to examine her. It is my, my rightful duty to examine all new... He gets interrupted by Ori. Not now, Tetty. And she closes the door in front of you. Oh. Don't get examined by him. It usually ends bad. See that man over there? He points uh -huh. towards a fellow with a horn in the middle of his face. Do I have to say any more? He has a horn, for goodness sake. He does weird magic. Some sort of blood magic and divine stuff. I do not wish to mess with him. Anyways, this way. And she leads you to the other side of the bar this time. It seems to be a giant furnace. as a door... And it is the chimney that was popping out very, very dark smoke. As she pushes the door to this one, though, you see inside a giant fire, completely surrounded by cobble, obviously. And you also see a man working in the forge. For this is the forge of the guild hall. Ah. Wow. Yes, uh, that is Jovask. Jovask is our blacksmith, and he is very, very nice. He's my father. 
Obviously, you didn't need to know that, but it's fine. All right. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> As you were about to leave the, well, the blacksmith, the forge, you hear a bell ring, and you see the guildmaster's door open. A short man with a very long white beard. Even that long that it goes between your legs, well, between his legs, he waddles to the center of the room and says, standing on one of the stools by the bar, New initiates have arrived. We must prepare the initiation quest. It is time. Fellows, fetch me three quests from the quest board. And you see three adventurers that were sitting down on a table rush to the quest board. That you now notice a board filled with papers, multiple different quests, and what seems to be different images and different prices. Dahlia, you stand up and you see the guildmaster whistle, <laughs> snap his fingers, and point you, Dahlia, and you, Sasha, to come to him. As I you walk both... up to him. Good, good. Yeah. You do the same, I imagine. Mm-hmm. You both approach him. Side by side, you look up to him, even though he is smaller on the stool. He says out loud, I am Guildmaster Darik, Guildmaster of this beautiful establishment for the past 120 years. Now, though my size is small, my heart is big, and I welcome you from the deepest of those parts. Now, tell me, what are both your names? M my name is uh, Sasha. I am a Dahlia. Hmm... Very good. Well, Dahlia, Sash, I have some good news for you. <laughs> you are going to be initiates for the guild. Everybody around you claps. Yeah! Woo! As they, well, welcome you from the deepest of their heart. Fetch me the three quests, sir. And you see a man approach with three papers of different shape and size with different drawings on. He, he places them in front of you. Each of them have a different description, and all of them range around the price of 150 to 250 gold pieces. Darag then says, "'Tis very simple. If you are to complete one of these three quests, you will be accepted within the Guild of Adventurers of Alkyam. But if you were to fail, this means death. Well, obviously, you would not be able to come back. So, oh. with that, which quest will you choose? And now, we start your roleplay for real. Because <laughs> I've just been doing narration for the past, like, what? Uh, fucking 20 minutes? All right. In the scene, it's all good. I know, I know. It's good. So with that, in front of you are three sheets of paper. Oh, yeah. I have them IRL in my hands. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm dedicated to this, all right? Do you have a real quest boy, too? Oh, just, I do. <laughs> and... I have the... Okay, so for those of you that don't know, the guild campaign online is... I play it online with people, but the actual guild campaign is something I do with my real friends IRL and that I've been doing for now the past two months. And it is absolutely insane. I love it, and it's fun. Hey, Orange. And I have actual, like, papers and all that and an actual map on the wall and actual beer that I give to my players when they drink beer. But anyways, that's past the fact. I have the sheets of paper. Let's see which one you'll choose today. The first one seems to be very mysterious, as it has a shining light in the middle and two pillars to the left and right. The title of it? Forgotten Ruins. A simple architect found ancient elven ruins in the Ember, a place down below in the south of the Empire where the tieflings live, and he needs help exploring them. Very dangerous of what the explorer says. The second one seems to be a bit burnt around the outside, and it's called the Baker's Problem. A baker's bakery has been overtaken by a fearsome dragon. If it isn't taken care of, he'll go out of business. This quest is worth 250 gold. And then the last one is... The Mysterious Mirror. Hold up. Sorry. All right. So the last one is called The Mysterious Mirror. 
a family in Silver Star bought a weird mirror and it magically disfigured their youngest. They need someone to lift the curse. So with that, he gives the decision to you. All the guild members look upon you. I'm having my interest in the one with the uh, ancient ruins. Same. The mysterious ruins. I'd love a good mystery. Very good. I'm smiling right now. <laughs> oh, no. This uh -oh. is going to be a fun little session. All right. With that, you both grab the mysterious ruins, or the forgotten ruins. The guildmaster smiles as well. And he says, looking upon everyone, they have chosen. And so now they leave. Good luck, initiates. This Thank you. is going to be your beginning. And he gives you a little wave. You look behind you and you see a path. Open. Within the crowd that was all looking at you. A crowd that leads directly to the door. This is your adventure. And so, it begins. Ugh. You have to go south of the city of Timbertown in another small city called, well, Dandelion to then do three days of travel to reach the Ember and find the ruins where the elven architect will find you. So, how will you depart this journey? Let us uh, find a horse, shall we? Yes. <laughs> that sounds good. <clears throat> Woods, our, uh, <laughs> our other member is ready to join. Oh, he is? Yes. All right, then. Let me get him in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that myself. Surprise, surprise, a third member arrives. Hola, Waffles. Greetings. Tell me. You ready to play? In yeah. All right, dope. All right, good. Sorry, sorry for the interruption, now. everyone. I guess it just, like, crashed. Oh, fuck, my internet dropped for, like, a millisecond. Uh -huh. Oh, that's stupid. All right, anyways, so, Palin, you read, you join the two recruits, and you see actually a masked figure with a hood on and eyes piercing through the darkness of the holes. And you also see a small little person with a staff and what seems to be two druids in front of you. You sigh. Oh. <laughs> Great, druids. Oh. With oh. that, uh, you have been tasked to go see the stable master to grab a carriage to then go to Dandelion, and from Dandelion do a three-day voyage to reach the Ember, to reach the ruins. So that is your first task today. So with that, your adventure begins. Just tell me what you're doing. Uh, I will lead them to the stables. Good, very good. So Palin leads you all to the stables. As he leads you there, you see again, uh, it is still in the morning, near the uh, midday, a lot of uh, civilians and just townspeople doing their work, you know? Eating or preparing carts and other stuff that is very important for them in their daily living. You reach the stable and you see multiple horses in a carriage up front and what seems to be a man brushing those horses with long hair. Long brown hair. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Uh, yes? Uh, I would like to have a carriage. Uh, yes, uh, that... Are you part of the guild? Indeed I am. Ah, yes, then <laughs> you get it for free. Here you go, which Ooh, one do you want? Which horses do you want? Oh. Would you like a little tour? How would you two decide? Ah, perfect. Mm. Let's just go through all the... My favorite horses. So the first one here is called Thunder. <laughs> a very powerful horse and, uh... Very magnificent. Black, just like ebony, and very powerful when it comes to, well, carrying her very large charges. Then after that, we have Shithead, but let's skip him, because he's a shithead. And then Aww. over here, we... Did you just sigh at Shithead? I said, aww. Yes, yes, yes. Do you know what why we call him name? Shithead? 
No, I do not. First of all, he almost bit my balls when I was born. Second of all, well, he's a shithead. Look at him. He has a brown... Uh, uh. You look and you see the horse with like a, bla a brown spot on his head. He's literally just a shithead and he's useless. He doesn't know how to pull, doesn't obey every anyone. I hate him so bad. He doesn't he seem that color, bad though. to me. Not that bad to you? Are you blind? Anyways, then after that we have Caramel. I, I named him Caramel because I love Caramel. And then after that we have this one over here that is just called... <laughs> Bark. Because he does that sound dogs do. He barks. Yes. Anyways, if I had to pick, I'd choose Bark, because he bites like a fucking animal. And I'd also choose, uh, Thunder. Well, I Adam. go over, uh, and try to pet Shithead. As you put your hand on Shithead's head, you tap it. Roll me Animal Husbandry. Uh, Handle. Animal Handling, my bad, Jesus. <laughs> my brain just died there. Animal husbandry. Uh, yep, roll that. A six. A six? <laughs> Alright, good. As you tend your hand towards Shithead, you notice that Shithead is not moving. His eyes are looking like from both directions, in left and right. <laughs> and as you approach his hand, he bites on it like a rabid animal. And you see the stable master huh. turn back to you and go, No, oh, I told you, Shithead's a Shithead. Don't try and pet him. Oh, God. How's your hand looking? <laughs> oh. uh, are you alright? Uh, I guess he... Oh, I think my hand will be okay. Oh. Alright, put a bandage on that. Or shithead spites are like poisonous or something. They give you the shitheads too. Huh. What? <laughs> Sorry. Alright, with that, uh, he does take out Ebony, uh, Thunder, and he also takes out Bark, and he attaches it to the carriage. That should do, right? Let's keep Shithead inside, shall we? Sasha's a little sad that she got bit by sh Shithead. <laughs> I don't like Shithead. Alright, with that done, let's attach these, uh, these horses to the carriages. Would you like any supplies? Any of you? Maybe. All right, yeah. fuck it. And he I, slaps I, the I'll, butt I'll of the some. horse. No, he doesn't even listen to you. He slaps the butt of the horse and he sends you <laughs> off. Oh, on board. Oh, right. Goodbye. As you see the village oh. disappear in the distance, you see Palin take the reins of the horses and you two druids are in the back. All right. Well, that's your adventure begins. Roll me one d20 each. Each? Yep, each of you. Each of us. Oh, that anything? is a very nice roll. Uh, do you have anything? You have your equipment and 20 gold from the guild if you didn't already have it. Oh, yeah. No, I, have. I rolled good. a 15. A 15? Good, 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 good. good 19 good. for me. 15. All right. Very good. With that, um, as you all depart on your journey south towards Dandelion, a city made for, well, fields and farming and all that, you do notice on the side of the road what seems to be a small shop with a giant crystal on top and somebody trying to fix it. The wheels on the shop seem to be sadly broken. As you approach it, he raises his hands and goes in the middle of the road saying, Hey! Hey! I stopped the horse. Oh. The horses oh. stop. With Hello, that... Sir. Ah, uh, hello. Sorry. Hi. Could you help me with this? My wheel fell off as I was going down the road. Gah. It's so of stupid. Uh, thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. Yeah. And also, if you want to buy anything, I'm a merchant, a traveling one, a very fast and traveling one. Just help me get this wheel back on before it moves again. Well, of course. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I hastily hop off. All right. You I'm, hop I'm off. I'm staying in the carriage. All right. Good. I'm going to try to help, but I might be as big as the wheel. Perfect. With that, 
Um, you both hop off the cart and you start going towards the wheel. The man says, quickly, quickly, I can see it recharging already. And he points towards the crystal. Oh, what does that do when it recharges? I you don't want to know yet. <laughs> I need to be in the cart when it happens. Uh, okay. Anyways, please, please. Uh, just help me put the wheel on and then we can maybe talk about buying something or selling something. I'll ask you both to roll a dexterity check. Twenty-three. Uh, 23. a twenty-one. All right, good. Hastily, you both, with pinpoint precision, put the wheel back on in a speed that has probably never been seen before in repairing cart speeds. And you stand Amazing. a few feet back as the merchant itself gets back on the cart. And then you notice there are no horses pulling this cart. Very hey. interesting. You see the man hop in his cart, open the doors, and then opens a little, like, hatch that leads to the whole shop itself as a little stand or a little counter. He puts his elbow and his hand on his face, uh, his elbow on the counter, his hand on his face, and he goes, now how can I help you? Well, Uh, you might be looking to buy wares, right? Of course. uh, Uh, Yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Here it goes. Um, I have magical daggers, I have necklaces, I have rings, I have everything. Quickly, just buy something before I disappear. Do you have uh, any stones? Stones, yes. Yes, I do. You see, he rushes into a chest. It has to be here somewhere, I know it. <laughs> it ah! Do you perhaps have five pieces of gold? And he peeks out from the like right side of yes. the, the cart. <laughs> then yes, sir, you I are do. in perfect luck. I have for you a, well, a rock of good luck. And he shows a rock with what seems to be a smiley face on it. This will provide you good luck. Only once is expendable, but it is very useful. I must have it. Here, good sir. Yes, thank you, thank you. What about you, fine sir? Would you like to buy something as well? Um, do you have any special bows of any kind? As you say special bows, you see the crystal start to, well, glow even harder. Uh, yes, yes, I have special bows, yes, I do. Let me show you them right now. Here we go. Uh, I have, he starts searching through the boxes. It has to be here somewhere, I know it. Uh, 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 there we go. Uh, this bow right here is worth exactly 15 pieces of gold. It is super special, and I took it from one of the elven dungeons up in the north. Uh, it, you can buy it for exactly 15 pieces of gold. It shoots two arrows instead of one. Gold, please. Oh, wonderful. I'll hand him the 15 gold. As you hand him the the gold. Does it happen? Yes, it happens. Oh, Oh, no. As you hand him the gold, you hear the crystal go crazy. You see the cart itself shaking. You even take a few steps back in horror as you see this all happen. And he goes, well, it was good doing business with you. I'm sorry, I do not control this. The cart disappears. And a spark of light, little sparkles of dust fall from the sky oh. as the cart is teleported. Fascinating. I didn't and you get my see, bow. As you see a little card on the floor. And it says... Pick it up. <laughs> it says, Murky, the magical merchant. Murky? I'll fold this and put it in my pocket. Oh boy, can't wait to see him again someday. And you're right, you did not get your bow. I had a strange feeling that was gonna happen. I assume I, I heard know. the noises, so I'm gonna peek my head out of the carriage. You peek your head out of the carriage to see no more carriage there, and you see both of them just in the middle of what seems to be a dust cloud of magical sparkles. I hold my okay. hand out to the sparkles. <laughs> You see Sorry, a few of them fall and then anger. splash if they were anger. Uh, anger. If, <laughs> Jesus. You, you see them splash upon Either. your skin if, if, as if they were, like, water. My brain just died there as I was reading something from my notes. <laughs> <gasps> With that, would you like to both get on your par- uh, on your cart and keep going down the road? Yes, and I, I ex- examine my rock. I kick the dirt. <laughs> I will find you. Good. And when I do, I will be mad. 
<laughs> I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we will find him someday. I will. I need that. my bow. What happened? He took 15 gold and teleported. Magic. I got. With magic stone. Uh, I got a rock. With a smiley face, it's a lucky rock. I could tell. <laughs> oh, by the way, before I forget again, who are you people? What are your names? My name is <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> Before I forget again, what are your names? <laughs> Sasha, wonderful. And you, other one with mask. I'm Dahlia. Dal, I will not say your full name. Oh. That is so mean. <laughs> All right. Okay, I have better names. Rockface, Stoneface. Perfect, let's do this. Onwards we shall go. Which one's rock face and which one's stone face? <laughs> you no are one. rock face because no you have a happy know. rock. <laughs> and you are stone face because you are wearing a mask that doesn't look happy. Or sad. <laughs> or like a face. <laughs> it's like drawn. You are stone face. Charcoal. I'm going back in the carriage. <laughs> okay. That is a good decision. Oh my god. Alright, with that, you all go back in the carriage. And you hop in, and Palin takes back the reins, and he snaps them for the horse. And they all go forward. With that, you go back down the road. And after, well, half a day of travel, you reach Dandelion, the city to the south. The farming city, that is. As you reach the city, it's almost dusk, and the sun is going down. You see, and you cross a little bridge. That reaches to the city. And with that, you're in. You see multiple buildings. You see what seems to be a tavern, a transportation company, the mayor's mansion in the middle of the city, and plenty of little shops. So what would you like to do in Dandelion upon the night? Uh, definitely look for a place to stay. Yeah. For the night. Usually taverns are a good pick when it comes to place for staying, but... In your case, there is a guild house. Sadly, you do not have the key to that guild house yet, for you are initiates. Makes sense, makes sense. So would you like to go to the local tavern? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was either that or sleep in the um, wagon. Alright, with that... There's nothing wrong with that. I've done it plenty of times, it's fine. <laughs> With that, Palin leads the cart immediately in front of the local tavern. You see the local tavern is in a triangular shape a bit, as it does three floors high. The door at the front has a sign right in, right in front of it, and it says the Golden Mug Tavern. As you can see, the exterior is painted in gold, though it is not real gold. It is just wood. As you park the cart, attach the horses... I guess you want to go inside? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. You push the doors and you see a few two little people inside the tavern. One human drinking and eating at a table to your right, and two elves playing cards at the table to your left. In front of you, not very far, maybe like 30 feet away, the counter to the bar with a man hiding, well, sitting behind it, reading a book, his glasses on the tip of his nose. And he raises his eyes for a few seconds and says, Welcome to the Gold Mug Tavern. Drink whatever you want, but still pay for it. Wonderful. Hello. We are wishing to stay a night here. But how many nights are we staying? Stay a night? A night would be fine. <laughs> yes, a night. All right. That's fine with me. Hi. My name is Fabrice. <laughs> nice to meet you, Fabrice. <laughs> No, Fabrice. 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 Uh, my wife will lead you to your room. And you see a very energetic woman run down the stairs. Do we have visitors? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. oh, it is time. It is time. Did they pay for their room, honey? No. Well, then make them pay for their room. It's 30, 30 gold pieces for a room. I lost all my money to that one guy. I have five. How much do you people oh, have? No. I have 15. 
I have 50. 20. Awesome. If we put that together, we have enough. Do we? As yes, long as you can pay, 20, I'm happy with that. 15, 5. I may not be the best at math, but I think that's over the price that he said. That 30. is a lot of the gold just to spend the night. It really is. It's a tavern. 30. <laughs> Are you trying to negotiate? <laughs> not me. <laughs> Wait, what's my charisma? I could try and negotiate. Definitely not me. Uh, it's my, uh, it's my stuff. If I'm not mistaken, uh, you have in Persuasion. A plus two. Plus two. <laughs> um, Sasha, <laughs> you're certainly not doing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely not, definitely not, definitely not. Uh, you have the highest score, Palin. <sighs> Oh no. <laughs> you could try. Well, sir, we are a part of a guild and are on a mighty quest. It would be honorable of you to make the night's rest cheaper. Uh, roll. Persuasion? Yep. So plus three on that roll. Oh boy. Oh yes, boy. I see. Please don't screw me over dice. Uh, that is a 16. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. All right, let's see. Counter roll. Oh, no. The man looks at you, widens his eyes. I guess I could do that, yeah. Uh, for your mighty quest or whatever. Oh, uh, one you. condition. And he raises that's his cool. finger for the first movement you've seen in quite a while from this man. You cannot party all night I will not sir good because the last party that came through here they ruined my tavern and I had to pay tons of and the woman just goes in front don't worry he's a bit pissy the last members that came through of your guild destroy five stools and three tables this is why we oh, only have two tables awful. now and seven stools uh, oh no. We lost us. Yes. Rambunctious. If you could try and maybe uh, gain your reputation in the city. I will not break anything at all. Yes, that is what we expect of users of. Anyways. Oh. Anyways, yes, your room, it's over here, she says as she hops and skips towards, well, just the right side of the bar where you can see doors on each side of the bar. You see um, a little door, maybe the height of the woman her, herself, like five, it's a 5-4 it's a door, maybe. And she opens it, and it reveals two beds. Ah, I see. We also have that problem. Rooms are two beds only. So That's either you buy another fine. room, or somebody sleeps with somebody else. I the floor can... is fine for me. I... <laughs> I'm very tiny. I swear I don't take up a lot of space. Oh, uh, that is also true. We could also set blankets in a chest, maybe. Ooh, will a pillow be the size of your bed, small one? Yes, that'd be perfect. That's awesome. So efficient. I will sleep without a pillow. <laughs> That's <laughs> very good. Thank you. With that, I wish you farewell. And this is your room. Here are the keys. Bring them back tomorrow morning. I shall be at the counter waiting because I'm always awake. And yes. Oh. Yes. I know. I'm a bit of a character. I do stay up, up very often. That's amazing. I wish I could do that. Yes. I have a sleep schedule of like two hours. Wow. That shows true strength and fortitude. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, with that... Good, good night, and have fun. I'll go out of town for a bit. And she leaves through the front door. With that, you see the two, uh, the man eating alone at his table say, Hey, you guys are from the guild? Yes. Nice job. You wrecked this tavern. It was a beautiful place before. And he leaves. Not me. Not <laughs> me. <laughs> 
Oh, All right. no. Uh, clearly, we are famous. Not for good reasons, though. That is true. I'd like to keep eyes off me. Oh, just same. Get a drink. You want to get a drink? Hold on. You don't want eyes to look at you. <laughs> and you're wearing a mask. That's... I'm sorry, but hold on a minute. <laughs> I want eyes to look at me. Can I wear your mask? I do rather keep it on, thank you. If you insist. Is your face burnt? Are you hideous? <gasps> Are you gorgeous? <laughs> Is your mushroom growing in your eyeball? Why do you wear it? I'm so intrigued. Sasha's just standing there with her hand over her mouth, like, <gasps> <laughs> Just, uh, don't worry about it. That's no fun. I will worry about it. Forever. Until I die. Uh, right. Let's just... Do you know, small one? Hmm? Do you know why they wear the mask? I do not. Uh, I just met her. Ah, unfortunate. With that, you see the bartender, <laughs> Fabrice. He looks at you three and he goes, So, are you gonna buy something or just go to bed? What time is it? It's like 7. 7 p.m. Could buy something. We have time. Do we, we have, have money to buy something? I have money. I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> I have very little money, but I have money. We didn't pay the man anything, and I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> uh, How much are the drinks? The drinks here? Depends. What do you want? The cheapest one on the menu? That's the yes. Red Imperial Ale. Two gold pieces each. You guys are on a very little budget, I see. He stands yes. up. You can see he's like seven feet tall. Gosh. Uh, all right. Wow. He's very wide. He's very wide. And he just goes, you know what? I think it's time for redemption. These ones are on me. And he drops oh. three mugs on the counter. And he opens three bottles of Red Imperial Ale. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Now, don't fuck anything up. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna wake up and see this tavern in like pieces again. God damn it, I hate those fucking elves. I hate them so much. And he walks away. Kinda of like scratch my ear. Oh, I'm an elf. Hide them, hide them. I will not. With that spread the word of this tavern of how wonderful it is and how not you should break it. True. We we definitely need to um inform the probably the guild master. Oh, yes. I'm sure he'll pay for it. He's pretty cool. Or he'll make whoever wrecked it pay for it. Do any of you have a yes. straw? A straw. What is a straw? <laughs> what the fuck? A straw? <laughs> like <laughs> like a reed? Open. Yes. Hmm. Are there any ponds nearby? Um, no. Not yeah. in this oh, wait, area of the world. I can just druid craft a rod. Right? <laughs> yeah, you could. You could. <laughs> Some there. little reeds. Just make a thing and use a straw to drink under my mask. I would drink my drink disappointedly because I thought they were going to take off their mask. <laughs> I look over uh, at them. Oh, whatever this straw very... thing would appear. Fascinated by the use of using the reed as a straw. Well, you know, the way. Mm hmm. I write some notes down in my book. <laughs> Druid 101. Ancient technique. Druids are weird. I'm just going to say that. As you do that, by the way, uh, Dahlia, you notice one of the elves turn to you. The two elves that were sitting at the table playing cards. And he goes, whoa, hey, that was pretty good magic. Do it again, but this time, two of them. Um, okay. 
make two reads with Jura Trap. <laughs> That's amazing. Tell me, where did you learn that magic? They're both high elves, by the way. A, uh, my uh, friends and family taught me. <laughs> Must be very cool being a druid like you. Uh, tell me, what race are you? What type of elf? Elf. Uh, <laughs> Might you be a wood elf? Yes, a wood elf. I, yes. Ah, and wh why the mass then? Did you get disfigured when you were young? See, that's what I was wondering. I d was that <laughs> we, we think the same. You see, wow. I, I was looking at that uh, that beautiful lady, perhaps, and I said that might be a beautiful woman under that mask. You know. But then she never took off her mask when, he was, when she was taking a drink. So I was wondering, what was under that mask? Oh, come on, lady. Show us your face. Yes, I'd, please. I'd prefer not to. It's it's so hideous. You, you, you would never forget it. I step in. Y'all want to see my rocks? Well, the other elf that was playing cards with him goes, Of course! Yeah! I want to see your rocks! <laughs> okay, and I open my sack, and there's just, like, many, many rocks. <laughs> many different rocks. That's amazing! Some are round, some are smooth, some are coarse. <laughs> some are shiny. Ooh. And then I start going into detail of where I found them. To try to keep the uh, attention off of Yeah, as Dahlia. she does that, I'm slowly gonna go up to our room with my drink and my straw. Good. I think you... I'm intrigued, but really I'm not. <laughs> Good. With that, you see the two elves drinking, and they sit at your table after they see uh, the other one with a mask leave. And they spend, well, the rest of the uh, 30 minutes with you, but then after that it gets late, and they have to go back to work and go back home. You see one of them actually grab a symbol an insignia. Roll me, uh, yeah, Sasha and Palin both roll me history. Ooh. Ooh, history. History, history. Uh, it's okay. That's 19. Now. Very good. Same. Doesn't take very much smarts to know what that symbol is, as it is actually a representation of Alkia. That does mean that they were officials from the Alkian <laughs> army. Are. Oh. <laughs> I'm just rising up. Ah. All right, very oh, cool, <laughs> very cool. <laughs> you do recognize those insignias to be Alkian Empire insignias. They were undercover agents for the Alkian Empire, that is. Anyways, with that, they're not very undercover with their insignia on, but that's because they're in civil clothing. And they don't want to just say, oh, I'm not just a civilian. Uh, well, they're trying to say, I'm not just a civilian. I'm part of the Empire with that insignia on them. Anyways, okay. you finish both your beers, and with that, you stand up and you go to your room to see, I guess, your friend standing in there? You gonna wait for a... Uh... Yeah, I'm just chilling. All right, sitting on the bed, perhaps, drinking your ale. How was the drink? It tastes like water, basically. But that is the cheapest I have, so... Well, I liked it. <laughs> it was free. <laughs> it was that very nice. That makes it taste so much better. I do agree. With that... Even free dirt is better than dirt. <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> You're right. You hear a voice <laughs> from the wall. Yup. No, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh. Is that oh. Also me? <laughs> oh, no. Evil me. I must slay him. Your evil twin. <laughs> oh. No, oh. but for real. Um, with that, you all do your preparations to go to bed, and you all just settle in. Sasha, you sleep in the chest with a pillow. Palin, Fantastic. you sleep in the bed without a pillow. How oh, wonderful. And Dahlia, you sleep in a bed fully, well, with a full bed. He's, he gets the full bed. He gets the full bed, yep. Well, she gets the full bed, to be honest. All right. Yeah. With that, the morning rises the next day, and you wake up in the tavern. I regret not sleeping with the pillow. <laughs> no wonder why they have those. I always wondered. 
Well, now you know what it feels like. It sucks. I'm sorry. You should have taken my pillow. Yeah, but you were already asleep, and that feel rude. Fair enough. With that, you hear the door knock. Oh, it's time to give you keys. The morning has risen. Your day here is over. Oh. Awesome. I open it and, you know, give them the keys. Very good. You drop the keys in the hand of the woman, and, well, she smiles. And she says, Thank you for staying at the Golden Mug Inn. We appreciated your stay, and we wish for you to come back one day. Now, tip tip. Thank you. Let's go. Leave, leave, leave. Us. Come oh, on, okay. come on. Let's go. Leave, oh, leave. Goodbye. Let's go, bye. everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, you hurry your things and you grab them all and you hop in the cart, ready to leave. With that, this begins the three day journey towards the Ember. Awesome. All right. You will all have to roll another dice. As it is the dawn of day, and you hop in your cart, Thunder oh. and Bark oh. are both ready to leave. Well, mm. dead lion. Yeah, Eleven. My dice become cursed. Nine. Eight. Very good. As you cross the forests, you set camp here and there. But sadly, during this tr these travels, nothing of importance ever happens. You do see a few wildlife here and there. You may hunt them, even try to talk to them. The druids, that is. But nothing too interesting happens, though. After a first day, you realize that this journey is going to be very long. And so starts the second one the next morning. You grab your things, go in the cart, and ride all day long, stopping on a small inn that you met halfway. They give you food as they recognize you as the guild members for free. And then, well, you, once again, go back on your way. This goes on for another day after. As it is now your third day of voyage, you reach the border of the Ember. Before you, you see this, the trees stop growing. Now only roots and ashes on the ground. What seems to be far, far away, an everlasting smoke rising to the sky. You see two guards guarding the road with a little house right next to it. Now, as the cart approaches, what do you do? Hello. Where were we supposed to meet this man again? This right. uh, elven man. The the what? Oh, uh, oh yeah, you're dude. supposed yeah. you're you're supposed to meet him in the ember. All right, in the ember. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Is this a check-in? I don't remember. It is. It is indeed a check into the Ember itself. A short wall is risen around the border of the Ember in order for tieflings or other elven loyalists to not escape it. For if you could all roll history very quickly. History. History. My history. Plus the... Oh, God. Here goes my cursed dice. Eleven. Eight. Seventeen. Very Five. good. You will have heard of this in your past. Either it be from mouth to mouth, or it just be from books in your studies. The Ember was long ago a very, well, living forest. But sadly, in a great war called the Race War, the Tieflings and the Elves fought side by side against, well, the Empire of Humanity, and sadly lost. What is now the Ember was once a giant elven kingdom from a great forest called the Living Woods. But the Empire of well, Men burned it down to a crisp, and the arcane that lived in this forest now burns forever in flames that never die. So it is now just... It's now just ashes and stumps constantly on fire. You may see occasionally a few trees, but they're all dead. Nothing really of interest. You all know as well that the tieflings have a, some sort of community inside of this ember, made of, well, soil. Not real buildings, sadly. So, as you approach the checkpoint for the Ember, you see the two guards stop you. Halt! Who goes there? Hello, we are guildmates. Guildmates? Hey, we didn't even receive any information of guild members crossing today, now did we? You didn't? Mates. 
The other man goes, Yeah, we didn't. Now, what's your business? I look on over to the other two, not. Do we have the paper the for the quest? Yeah. I assume one of you two have it, because I don't. Did we take that with us, or did we leave that at the guild? Oh, I'm pretty sure you both took it, yeah. All right. right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So one of you two have it. I, sure. I, I showed the paper. Uh, we, we, we were supposed to come here to help. Uh, it's, it's for our quest. To, we're initiates. Oh, initiates. Aye, they're initiates. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Well, we'll still have to do the checkup. Yeah. Yes. And you're, you're right. We'll have to do the checkup. All right. Uh, very simply. Checks. Um, just show us all your weapons. I do it. Show my bow I show, and short swords. I show I my show. quarter staff and my sling. I show my weapons. Which are? <laughs> the uh, quarter staff and the shield. Very good. With that, you see the guard go. All right. Well, good luck in there. Good luck killing tieflings. All right. Guys, wait to see the blood on your weapons when you come back. And also, don't be too bloody. We want them to stay alive now, don't we? Yeah, All right. of course. Good luck. And he opens the Goodbye. gate. Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. You too. After we get a bit forward. God, that's gross. Y yeah, that's very... Blood on weapons? Ew. Don't you know you're supposed to clean them? And tiefling blood? That's even worse. They're people. I was hoping he would say, like, I don't know, beasts of great might or anything. Anything else? <laughs> anything yeah. but a person. That was quite disturbing. Oh well. You don't want to kill tieflings? Why should I? Just seems like everyone does. Yeah, well, they're stupid. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't like the fact that you know, people always discriminate in this place. With that, the cart keeps moving forward. As you reach the roads of Ember, a small road, and you see plenty of people just wandering around the wasteland that is this peninsula of fire in the southern bound well, territory of the empire after maybe half a day again of travel you reach this well you're about like 500 meters away from the city of tieflings you see it has plenty of dirt hills with chimneys on top and a few humanoids walking around you do see around the village towers three towers with the alkian symbol on it with guards up top. <laughs> you, your cart keeps moving forward as it approaches the city, and with that, you reach the city of Ember. The tieflings look dirty, beat up, bloodied. They don't look in good shape at all, actually. They're all sad, or some of them are just angry. As they see you all clean, some of them give you stares. Some of them even growl at you, as if they were animals. But they're people. You park right next to the largest hut, where you see actually two Alkin guards outside, with halberds and heavy armor. You see blood on the halberds, and you see blood on the armor as well. And it is certainly tiefling blood. As you do go to that little place, the cart stops. The cart says, Come on right in. You must be the guild members. Indeed. The side awaits for you inside. Wonderful. And with that... Okay. He opens a little curtain that leads inside the dirt hut. And inside the dirt hut, you can see an actual good-looking place. Though it is very crammed, you see a beautiful, beautiful little place. Wood for a floor. Candles and lanterns hung on the ceiling of this very round room. And an elf looking at a fireplace reading a book, and around him, multiple artifacts. He doesn't notice you at first as you enter. 
but you're now inside the hut. Hello, sir. Ah, what? Yeah, what? Ah, uh, uh. He turns around and he reveals himself to be very, very old. Wrinkles all over oh. his face, glasses on the tip of his nose, and his hair, well, balling on the top, but a bit of hair behind his head, white and curved. Hello? Yes, hi. Ah, hi. He smiles. Nice to meet you. Oh, you must be the guild members. Yes, of uh, course. Good to meet you. I am Sir Chalice. Elvin uh, Architect and also Lord of the Museum of Silver Star. I come here because I have found ruins belonging to the elves back in the days of the race war. And I needed help, obviously. <laughs> well, to defend myself, would you be willing to do so? Of course. But, quick question, what are we defending you from? I don't know. He smiles. Oh, oh. This will be fun. Indeed it shall be. For I do not know what is inside of those ruins, but it seems many people have tried before to go in them. Because I've seen bodies, he says very bluntly. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this sounds like it'd be... Can't wait. Quite an adventure. Oh, all right. Well, I shall give you your equipment, and then we shall be on our jolly way. First of all, this lantern. Here you go. Who will have it? What does it do? Ah, oh, well, it or shines. Is it just a lantern? No, no, it's oh. a special elven lantern. You see, mm. it shines within 30 feet, and it also reveals ghosts. Yes. Ooh, I would be taking that. Yes, yes. Oh. You see, for I do know that on these lands roams the ghosts of many elven people. If you if you wander these lands at night with a lantern in your hand, you'll see the ghouls of people wandering around as ghosts, he says with a smile and a bit of hope in his eyes. Fascinating. I love ghosts. Yes, yes, I love them too. I talk with them sometimes. Anyways. I've never done that. I've done it multiple times as he reaches into another chest. Oh, I'm right back. Here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. This one is special too. It's a spear, but if you tap it, he taps it and the tip of the spear ignites. It goes and it becomes fire. If you don't want that, Sasha, I will take it. Yes, you you can take it. It's, I, I'm good. Uh, can I you even that. hold it? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> well, now I feel bad. Beer. And with that, the final item. It is a bit heavy, but it is small. So it is perfect for our last contendent over here. I call it... <laughs> The Necklace of True Vision. <gasps> he sneezes on the necklace itself. Oh. oh. Well, you could call it the Necklace of True Sneezes now. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I pulled a handkerchief. Just... Uh, thank you. He grabs, he, he grabs the handkerchief and he starts wiping the necklace. You see actually an eye open. It's made of silver. There you go, and he throws it to the small one. Thank you. With that, I think we are ready for our expedition. Shall we go now? Of course. Yes. Follow me. He leads you outside the little hut, back to the cart. The two guards hop on the cart, and they bring you outside of the small city of Ember. After maybe ten minutes of riding... You notice 
in the distance, a hill. On the hill, it seems to be a gaping mouth to the dungeon he was referring to. You do see corpses around, trying to escape the place itself, as you see the brun uh, the blood run from the inside and reach their bodies. A bit of fear comes into your heart as you see this image. There are about 30 corpses around the entrance. The elven, very old man, then says, Well, I told you they were corpses. Can I make a medicine oh. check to see how they died? Of course. Go on. Ugh. I hate you, Dice. I can try. <laughs> I can also try. I got an 11. <laughs> All right. With that, you hop off the cart as the cart stops, and you approach one of the bodies. You rip off their clothing as you reveal that there are scratch marks on the back of their, well, body, on their back. Hmm. Claws. That's how they were killed. Oh. <laughs> or being slashed. Oh. Or the other... Oh, well, now we know how we're going to die, if we die. But we won't, because we are amazing. Yes. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I shine my lantern over it. Is there a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> no, there are no ghosts in the area, in the vicinity near you. But you do see a lot of bodies, that's all you see. Ah, thank God there isn't a ghost. That would have scared me. What, With that, the um... man says, Well, there is one artifact that I wish for in there. Shall you, you reach tell. it for me? It looks like this. And he reaches out for a paper. And you see what seems to be a staff with leaves on it. Leaves forming a sun. A sun with then fire behind it. An ancient tiefling artifact. Used by one of the great druids. And he is still alive. He is in Silver Star's dungeon. For he is a tiefling, he must be arrested. But I wish to have his staff in my collection. So I have put upon my own self to grab this staff. So now, well, do you have a staff? That you have to go get. How Shall do you... you know that he is in there or even alive? <laughs> that you shall not know. Uh, actually, I can reveal this, for I am no longer working for the Alkian Empire. I was one of the great generals when we captured him. I was the one that brought rage upon this war and went inside that tiefling village to grab his very soul himself. I couldn't believe it. I thought he was a revenant. The people praised him as the only hope. We snatched it away from them, those dirty tieflings. But I am a hero now to Silver Star. Anyways, go get the staff. With that, your reward. And if you stay silent with this whole thing, Maybe I'll drop in a 50 more. Okay. Sounds good. So with that, you all turn around from the man, and you head for the dungeon itself. With that, we will be taking our first break of this Ooh. little campaign. So before we actually go, guys, how do you... What do you think yeah. about this campaign from now on? Well, from to now. I'm excited. I'm, 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 ooh, I'm ready. I am so ready. <laughs> hey, you! Are you looking to join the guild campaign? Well, I have great news for you. You can join it today if you join the peace server. Today! That's right. Whoa! If you join the server today, you can join the game. Wow, that's incredible. But what? How do I do it? Well, it's very simple, omnipresent voice in my head. This is how you do it. Hop in the server, make yourself a first level character, and play with us. It's that easy. Sign up today by making a first character, a first level character on D&D &D Beyond. Wait, Woods, are you saying <laughs> that if I just 
if I just scroll down a little bit and put it, click on that little icon, that little face down there to join the peeps discord that I can play with you. Is that it? I, I That's think that exactly it, Josh. If you click wow. the little icon down below, you can join me and the rest of the gang and play in playing D&D. Does that mean I get to play with other people? Yes, you get to play with other people, not just the people from the stream. Currently, we actually have 30 people in the guild campaign playing. That's insane. Now, fair warning, they're not all English. I have some fair people playing IRL with me. But with that done, let's get right back to the stream in... One minute. All right. Oh, let's thanks. get to playing this game. Here we go. Let's play game. Oof, 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 oof. Where is it? Where is my music? Nope. A bit too. A bit too. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Here we... Nope. Not this one. There you go, this one works. Perfect. Alright, welcome back everyone. We're playing again. Let's go. Yeah. So, as you all enter the dungeon, you see the mouth of the dungeon behind you lose the slight as you go deeper and deeper. You notice a, store, a staircase. You go down the staircase, one step at a time, following each other. Until you reach a room with four pillars and a tablet in front of you. That is all, all right. there is in the room. Question, is it just us going in the uh, dungeon? Indeed. Just you three. All right. At first, I liked that man, but now I don't. I mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. I do not agree with his views. Okay, so, this is a druidy staff. You two are druidies. <laughs> Nature folk. Plants. Um... I had an idea. This is a very bad idea, but it is an idea. Druid staff, you druid. You get staff, you big buff. You stronger, magic greater. You can make that whatever you call it, straw, but bigger. If my math is correct, and we can, because he's clearly evil, because I don't think tieflings are bad, they're just dirty. And oh well, who cares about cleanliness other than I, of course. But we can use that. One of you two could use that staff and, I don't know, scare him? Like, pew pew, go away, we're all powerful. And then he can run. Hmm. Or we can just do his job, get paid, tell no one, get paid more. I am very okay with both. I don't agree really with vibe. trying to scare this man away, but I don't want to. If there is a, as he says, a druid with a teeth, uh, with a staff down here, I don't want to kill this man. I also don't want to give him the staff, though. I don't think he should have such a famous and potentially powerful staff, regardless of how old he is. I was just about to say, he's very old. I don't think he can use it very well, but, I mean, he is an elf. We don't know so. what this staff does. Maybe it returns internal life or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, he is very old, and it said, he said that this tiefling is still alive. And the way my brain sees it is this staff makes you immortal, because shouldn't that tiefling be dead? Because that was... A long time ago, I think. Hmm. That was indeed a long time ago. At least 200 yes, years. So. He's okay, been he's been yeah. certainly alive for more than 200 years. That's all you know. Yes. I don't think tieflings live that long. Can you two confirm? They don't. Or deny. Okay, good. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a tiefling master here. Um, I have... Yeah, this staff probably makes the person live forever, or makes, I don't know, like... I would like to study it, but other than that... Well, our means, first yeah. objective so far should be getting to the staff. This is true, and, and there's... This room a... is, 
tablet is a puzzle. I can smell it. Four pillars and a tablet. Each pillar probably does something, and the tablet probably tells us what. Ooh, I love puzzles. I'm gonna run to the tablet and look at it. As you run to the tablet, you will roll me a dexterity saving throw. I am now scared. <laughs> Those dice are cursed. I will be using this blue one. A dexterity saving throw. Yep. Thank Remember, you're thank level you. one. Be watch out. Just watch out. Mm. Yes. I have good dexterity though. Be big happy. Okay. <laughs> Sound like an okay of disappointment. 20. Oh I shit. Never mind. Not natural. Yeah, Not yeah. Natural. I understood that. With that, you manage as you run, you see between both pillars on each side what seems to be holes in the walls. You realize that and you duck immediately as you see oh, wait, huh? two metal spikes reach from both sides well, both sides of the room and directly go where you were. Okay. They slide so back. Trapped. They slide back into their regular position, rearming themselves as you hear a Be careful, we don't know what's down here. All right. Am I on the other side of the pillars? You now, are or? on the other side, yep. Awesome. Are you too dexterous? Mm, uh, Technically, they could duck under it now that you know it's there. Yeah, that's true. That's and so, yeah. you probably don't even have to worry about it. Just walk under it. It's like at head level for regular humanoids. Oh, no. uh, oh. <laughs> that would be neck level for me. That's even worse. Please. <laughs> With that, so, yeah. you both cross. Um, Dahlia, you crouch under it, and Sasha, you just run. Uh, with that, you're now all three of you near the tablet that is on what seems to be a little table of stone. I look at it. You take a look. It's written in Infernal. Do I speak that? I do. I also do. I almost picked that out, but I did not. All right, and you'll read it. This door will only be opened with the bro- with the blood of those who truly belong in these lands. Okay, so this was originally elf land, right? So it's What's either referring on? to elves or it's refer. Oh, right, you can't read, and you're too short to read it. Ha! Huh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, it says that only blood from those who truly de- deserve this location or are truly from here can open it. So I assume we either need a tiefling, which as far as I'm concerned, we don't have, or an elf, and I am an elf. Do any of you have a dagger? Um, let me check. Uh, I think I have I a... probably have a small knife. I don't yeah. have a dagger that I want to use. <laughs> I have a small <laughs> knife. I will... Can I have that small knife? Here you go. Thank you. I shall prick my finger out and drip it on the tablet. As you drip it on the tablet, you see the light of the room itself. Dim. Oh. oh. It dims and dims even more. Until it becomes darkness. Thank God I have dark vision, I think. Yes, I do. (laughs) You don't hear anything. No music. No sounds whatsoever. You look left and right to wait for something to come out. And then the lights reappear. No. Nothing Uh, happened. No door opened. Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is that a druid tiefling with the sunflower staff, Mm -hmm. with the sunflower, and he is like looking at the blood, and when the lights go dark, he stealthily runs in, looks at it, and goes, "Mm hmm, this is my blood, and then runs out. But we can't see him because he's very quick. Or something like that. He definitely knows. So, and elves, this elf in particular, and the elves around here, don't like tieflings. So, it's probably a tiefling. 
Do any of you happen to have a vial of tiefling blood? Because I don't, because that's gross. Um, we can try to examine the bodies that were at the front to see if any of them are not dead enough to may have some. Oh, there's also blood on the floor. They at the entrance, at whatever. the entrance, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Would you, like to, would you like to go to the door and grab some samples of tiefling blood? And just... Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I'm ducking. As you duck again under the trap, you walk up the stairs for a good two minutes. Uh, who's going upstairs? Uh, me. Okay, good. Palin, you go upstairs and you reach the top and you see the architect smiling. Do you have it already? No, but here. A funny thing. There is a puzzle. A very... Interesting puzzle. We yes. need um, a special blood of those who, as it says, and I quote, truly belong here. So I thought, hey, this used to be elf thing. So I pricked uh, my finger and pricked uh, it on, and it said no. So I think it's tiefling. So I'm going to go on over to any of these corpses and like take some of the blood um, so that we don't have to kill as... Uh, Others would put it free labor, so we can just grab some old blood okay. from a tiefling. Let me just do that. Very good, very good. Hold up, uh, I gotta do some calculations. Oh no, math. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, so you say that, and the old man just goes. Uh, very well, very well. Then do your business. I will. Thank you. This has been so much fun. I thank you for uh, putting your quest on the board. That doesn't sound sincere fun. at all. That doesn't sound... <laughs> oh, so I, I, I really did meant it. I, I really... I'm sorry if it didn't mean sincere. Uh, just do your job. I will. I'm sorry. And I will gather blood from a dead tiefling. As you look around, though, you see that the tiefling bodies are very scarce. There aren't many, but you do see one, and it looks very fresh for its skin color is still very, well, bright. Perfect. I will collect the blood from it. How will, will you collect the blood from it? No. Uh cuss word noises. Let's look at my equipment. Do I have anything to store the blood? Just cup it in your hands. I could do that. I do have a mess kit. Yes, that has and a cup in it. Do, it does. Contains a cup. Right. So I will use the small knife right. that I got from the right. small one. Yep. That's funny. Uh -huh. um, and I will cut a place that would bleed a lot. And As... if I don't find it the first time, I will stab everywhere and say I'm sorry every single time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I just need your blood. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Um, while they're doing that, just in case, I, I take uh, like my finger, uh, my cup from my mess kit, and I put a little bit of my blood in, just in case they don't see it. Very good. As you stab and stab and stab to find the spot with most blood in it, you do find one part of the body where it still has a lot of blood, the neck. Perfect. And you ah, start yes. pouring the blood of the dead tiefling inside that cup. You notice that the blood is very uh, dark. It's a dark red. And with that, you run back downstairs with a cup full of tiefling blood, and you reach the room. Hi, guys. I got blood. It oh. took me a couple tries. And you say that at the bottom of the stairs. I will duck underneath the pillars. Very good. You duck under. You duck under the trap, and you yeah. reach back the tablet. Very good. Go on. This is a lot darker than I remember, or maybe it is how I remember. Oh. Well, splash. As you drop the blood on the tablet again, you see the lights dim, dim, dim. You hear. as if a heartbeat was beating. And then the lights come back and nothing happens. Oh, it mm. has to be alive. I don't want a living tiefling to have their blood spilled. 
Hmm. This is unfortunate. Small one, are you a tiefling? Could we try? I know I'm not a tiefling. <laughs> I'm sorry. Small one, are you a tiefling? Oh, jeez. In right. the sky, the magic is very strong. I'm just... <laughs> we could always try my blood. I mean, I could well, give it a well, shot. Well they're, well, they're disgusting. I'm just going to pour my blood on the thing. Oh, we're disgusting. You... I pick up the small one. As they're give arguing, <laughs> as Palin is saying, give me your blood and shaking the small one, you see... Um... Dahlia, grab her cup and pour it very quickly on the tablet. The room dims, dims, ah! dims. And you see a red door behind the tablet appear. It seems to be a portal reaching to another room. Um, I don't know what okay. happened. But, Why uh, do you have tiefling blood with you? I had it because the quest. You just pulled it out and splashed it. That's gross. Did did we actually see him do that, or were we too busy? Arguing? Oh, roll wisdom, both oh, of you, no. and roll stealth, Dahlia. Stealth. Yep. Wisdom. I think I'm good at that. Ah, oh, yeah. Kind of. Fourteen. All right. Nineteen. All right. Oh, well, he certainly 20. sees you. Twenty. Yeah, they both see you. You're not subtle at all. You like drop the cup as you give it. Perception's even better. <laughs> it doesn't matter with how many. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, with that, uh -huh. um, you both notice uh, Dahlia pour the cup of blood directly on, uh, well, on on the tablet. That the door opens and you see the red light set itself on the whole room, and the portal sizzle. Well. That's gross. I guess it was lucky that you had some blood. I'm... That was a uh, I'm not going... blood. Yours must have worked. It was just delayed. I was okay, just another again. question. Hmm? Well... Wait. <laughs> what? Uh, now, wait a second. I'm confused. Why did... Why do you have human blood? <laughs> That's somehow more concerning. You know, there's more of those around. I found which means it. You can find it more. Ew. Where did you find still somewhat fresh human blood? You know, I collect rocks. You know, they well, make That's blood. like a little bit normal. That's still weird. Don't worry, small one. You're still weird. But why do you collect <laughs> blood? Are you a vampire? Please don't bite me. You never know when you will need it. I like that thinking. Ew. Don't take my blood. Let's I'm continue. You. I'm watching you, stone face. You're stone face, right? Let me check my notes. <laughs> yes, you are stone face. As he pulls out a book and says, Oh, yes, yes, you are stone face. I remember you. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going to change your name. Good. Um, you are now Blood. Blood face. <laughs> freak. Blood freak. No, right. Bloodbird. You're Bloodbird. Oh, Bloodbird. That's actually a cool nickname, not gonna lie. You should mm -hmm, paint mm -hmm. birds on your mask because it's rather plain. Well, it's not plain. There's stuff on it, but I don't like it. Birds are cool. Don't you agree? Let's continue. Small one, do you think birds are cool? Hey, don't pass through the me. portal. No, wait, come back. <laughs> <laughs> As you enter the portal... Uh, are you followed by Pollen and uh, Sasha? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, good. You all go through the portal, revealing now another room with red inscriptions on the walls, written in Inferno. Oh, hey, I can read this. You, yeah, you both can read this. Uh, you, Pollen, and you, Dahlia. As you look around, you see the writings on the walls read, "We are powerful. We are not forgotten. We are the Tieflings." And we shall stand strong upon the human pressure. And then, in the middle of the room, you see what seems to be the staff oh. itself. Oh, it is there, in the middle of the room, but on top of what seems to be a very large hill of moss. And it mm. is cracked in two pieces on top of that huge amount of moss. And this room is about yeah. 50 by 60 feet tall, uh, wide. Lots of moss. 
which mean could mean bleh, that could mean many things. One, it's just moss, and that's mm -hmm. the scariest. That is the scariest thing I can think of. The less scary thing is that it's not moss, and it's just painted like moss. And really, it's a ladder, and we climb it, and we get the staff. We continue. A less scary thing, an even less scary thing than it not being moss, is that it's some sort of magic, and we go to climb, and we fall in. And that one guy that's supposed to have the staffs there, and he's like, swiggity swooty, um, you're now orange juice or something. And I, that would scare me. <laughs> but that's not as scary as it being normal and the puzzle being complete. I kind of like whisper like, I'm tricking whoever runs this place. <laughs> <laughs> By far, the scariest thing would be if we just succeed. Ooh. I've got a uh, what, gonna it's like 50 first. by 60 room. Uh, and just how high up is like the Moss Tower? The Moss Tower is oh. about 30 feet tall. That's so tall. And it it, it, it's like it, it's like a hill, so it's perfectly equal on every side, and it's like a, a very equal hill. And it probably does the entire room, except for the little area that you are. And the, like the, the height of the room itself is about, like, 100 feet, by the way. Oh, Moss Tower is, like, 10 of me. <laughs> it might be more. I think this room is, like, 100 of you. Yes. How tall are you? <laughs> Three feet. Three? Okay, it's less. But still, almost. Let's, let's try and climb the moss. I'm scared. I think I'm goofy. It's gross. It's probably wet, and I don't like wet things. As you start climbing... Unless it's like spring water. Oh. oh. <laughs> as you start climbing, <laughs> you hear the... Oh, no. As of the, the, the mush. Each time you take a step. I will ask I you all to roll... Dexterity. Saving throw. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Save. Oh, no. <laughs> uh... Dex. Save. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't curse me, dice. You're my. You are. I did abandon you for like a year and found you recently, but I really enjoy you. <laughs> it's probably better than what I got. It is uh... an eleven. All right, eleven, Josh. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh no! Let's have some fun. All right. Uh... I, I rolled a nine. Oh, wow, we're screwed. Let's see. Here we go. Extra screwed. I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm looking for it right now. Where is my... Hopefully, it's my worst fear. It's just normal moss. As you go up the <laughs> moss hill, you hear... Ew, ew. And then you turn ew. around... To see your friend well actually no she was in front right Dahlia was in front as Dahlia was in front be... you see her go to the front and go <laughs> get dragged down under the moss ah. Dahlia your sight is brought to actually what seems to be a face under the moss itself as the moss hill is alive oh god <laughs> and it looks at you and says in well infernal who are you? As it tangles you up with the moss itself. I I don't I I I'm not here to harm you. We just need your staff. You're trying to get the staff? Then you perish. You're uh, not my master. <laughs> and he forms himself that? to be a giant golem of moss. Oh God. With Dahlia like at the front and the center of his torso attached. Hmm. This makes it more difficult for me. As you both fall back to the entrance, you see the giant moss creature look down upon you with its two shining red eyes and the inscription upon its forehead that say in Infernal, protect. That says protect, by the way, small one. <laughs> Oh, and the room's like, don't grab my stuff, I think. I think that's what it says. Something about tieflings being better than humans. Oh. Oh, we are... We are... In a very unfortunate situation, then. <laughs> How tall is this moss man? He is about 45 feet tall. 
Dear Moss Father, you are very <laughs> tall and very mighty, and you have a bloodbird on your uh, your chest. Um, I would ask you. I because... don't want your excuses. It's I was excuse. given I'm one command to, to protect. I'm going to you. you are pretty. Would you like a flower? Flower? <laughs> no, one, no, no. My what do you mean, no? Flowers are gray. Stop talking, you fucking elf. Never. You may never, like never, 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 never. And with that, the creature raises both its arms and goes, oh, God. and tries to smash you guys. Roll dex. Dex saves again? Oh, yeah. Okay, you stupid blue dice, you're banished. Purple, it's your turn. <laughs> Where is my blue dice? There you are. You get to go in dice jail, which for now will be inside... Uh, my phone. Me. No. Uh, 15. Oh, no. 15? Very good. Oh, you are evil. That's uh, 12. All right, all right. Well, with that, you me. both do dodge out of the way with the fist of the moss creature oh, slamming oh, behind six. you. <laughs> as you roll out of the way. The moss creature then releases a gasp, and I'll ask you both. Actually, all three of you, oh, to roll no. initiative. I'm afraid. Can I not do this? <laughs> <laughs> Moss is my worst nightmare. It's wet, it's gross, and it gets everywhere. Okay, Anakin. <laughs> God, ah, oh, no, they're all cursed. But my dex is so good. <laughs> I rolled an eight. Uh, Thirteen. Twenty. 20. Nice. It's All right. the highest initiative I can get. Actually, no, I can get a 21. So with that, the nice. order... Uh, Sock, what did you get again? I got a 13. Wait, I'm not Sock. No, that's very good. <laughs> what did you get, Sock? <laughs> I rolled an 8. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yeah, are you Palin and I'm Sock? Am I small <laughs> one now? Oh, God. With that... All right, sorry, I I had to compile those results. Here we go. The turns will be Josh, Waffle, Sock, and the Moss Creature at the end. Oh, he's slow. He is very Good. slow. Um, with that though, Dahlia, you are inside the well, the torso of the beast. What would you like to do? I'd like to try to get out. All right, for that, roll strength. Uh, strength check or strength like saving throw? Uh, strength check, yeah. Three. Well, that's just great. All right. Um, sadly, you are not able to leave the moss creature itself. You do feel some drips of water go over your body, and your your clothes just go moist completely Ugh. from the moss itself. Oh boy. Would you like to I'm do something moist. else? Um, I only have one action, so I assume that was my. Uh, you can do a bonus action if you want, like yell or. Do something stupid. Uh, bonus action. Um, I can try and. What am I? Am I considered just grappled or am I restrained? You are restrained. Okay. Can I attack when I'm restrained or no? Mm mm. No. That yeah. Then um, I can't really do anything. There's nothing I can. Don't All hit right. me. <laughs> With that, we skip to uh, Palin's turn. So Palin, it's your turn. Oh. Well, how far am I away from it? You're about 10 feet away from it. Ah, perfect. Wait, he probably has long arms. He is huge. <laughs> <laughs> so he does. I'd say he, he has tiny legs. Maybe like the, the legs are like five feet tall. And then he is a large chunk of like body and then two giant arms. Hmm. Disgusting. I will take my longbow and take a shot. You grab your longbow. Please roll to attack. I will, and I am excited. Ooh. 21. Very good. You shoot your bow, and it hits directly on the beast. You see it cry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please die. <laughs> All right, with that, roll damage. Eight. Ten. 
Very good. Very good, actually. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. I rolled almost maximum. Uh. I'm so sorry, Moss. All right, Go away. you shoot it, and boom, it takes a few steps back. Um, Dolly, you actually feel the moss loosen a bit on you. Oh. With that, uh, it is now. Yep, it is Sasha's turn. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm going to cast. Can I cast Fairy Fire on it? Of course. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Perfect. All right. Um, since you are trying to hit it, though, yeah, I will ask it to roll. Uh, fourteen. All right. Um, you Is manage. Hmm. Wait, she casted fairy fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a saving throw, or am I? Well, spouse? no, no, you're not. I'm rolling as well, but I'm, I'm rolling for another reason. You'll see. Oh, wow. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A few house house oh, uh, rules, you'll see. All right, and anyways. Every single bit of moss is a different creature. You <laughs> extend <laughs> your hand, and with that, you see the sparks of light leave. <laughs> immediately hitting upon the moss, and you can see the little sparks just trying to burn it, the moss itself. The creature... <laughs> it tries to extinguish it, but sadly, it can't. So his right arm is now on fire. Sock, roll damage. <gasps> What, what am I? Hold up. What am I rolling for? Uh, uh, you. Hold up. I don't think there's uh, fire deals. Yeah, it's gonna be it's fire bitter. damage. It's gonna be fire damage for me. So that is. Uh, any attack roll against an affected creature has yeah, 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 because you can see it now. Uh, it can't benefit from being invisible, but since you cast it directly on him, I'll just say the little, like, lits of fire just burnt him. So that will be 2d4s. Okay. Uh, five. All right, very good. As the fire combusts his right arm, he goes, and he tries to extinguish it, hitting it as hard as possible. You hear the vibrations in the soil itself that it's standing upon, and then the fire stops. The creature looks at you both and goes, You'll pay for that, room. And you can see its eyes glow as the text around in the room glows as well. You then feel something in your stomach. Oh, God. Oh, it doesn't feel well. Roll Constitution. Oh, it's gross. The moistness. All of us? Oh, All of you. I don't think I have good constitution. I might bar. Uh, what is what is my constitution saving throw? Oh, no. I rolled a 19. Oh, well. Pray to the divine above me. Oh, 17. Very good. So the actual only person to puke is the person within the moist creature. As you see, coming from the center of the moss creature, just a spray of vomit. Ew. Uh, you, lose, the mask. you lose your next turn. Yuck, that is disgusting. No, actually, it's coming uh, out of the straw. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a single I still spray. Have the straw. Oh, yuck. Oh, oh, God. Anyways, with that, um, Josh, you lose your next turn. All right. You can Just sit back here. <laughs> it's your turn, and it's gone. Yep, and with that, it is now your turn, Palin. Wow. Oh, ew, that is disgusting. Why? <laughs> Ooh. First of all, that's a good reason why you should take off the mask. Ha ha. Oh no. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The man's just My looking for reasons to remove the mask. <laughs> I wish to, I wish to, I wish to remove the mask. Who? I have two cool things I can do. I could do the same thing as last turn, or I could magic. <laughs> and I like magic, but magic scares me. <laughs> I will, because I'm cool and want to prove it to smaller one. Because I don't know. Uh, I will. Oh. 
cast Poison Spray. He needs to make a constitution saving throw of 12. Very good. That's uh-huh. not high, Poison. but... Nope. Nope. He, uh, you do that on the moss creature, right? Yes. Very good. As you do your poison spray towards the moss creature, you see it completely ignores it. Ah! My magic is pathetic. <laughs> the sparkles on it on fire! My deadly poison did nothing! I will... cry a little. You drop a single tear oh, no. as you look down with that pitiful attack on him. Oh, with that, though, it will now be Sasha's turn. Sasha, you're up next. Okay, um... I am going to... cast... (laughs) Shalalay? (laughs) Shalalay! On my quarterstaff. Alright, good. Um, hold up, I'm doing a few modifications here. Uh... Uh, there we go. Sorry. With that, uh, you will call uh, cast Shalele on your uh, your staff. Very good. Yes. With that, would you like to do anything else? Um. Yeah, because I believe that's a bonus action according to that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit him with my quarter staff. Good. You approach it with your tiny feet as you approach the moss creature. You raise your staff and you want to hit it with your staff? Yes. All right. Roll to touch. Oh, boy. What is it? <laughs> Natural, Natural one? one. Ah. Oh. As you hit the creature, you notice it's, its moss actually moves around and grabs your staff. And the creature looks down upon you and goes, No, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. The staff is now stuck within the moss creature. And you can see the moss creature raise its foot. As it is now its turn, it will roll to crush you. Oh no. That is a... Oh. As he raises his foot in the air, you manage to actually take out the staff out of his foot, and you run away. He crushes <laughs> his own foot with his right leg, so he falls to the ground. He does receive a bit of damage. There we go. All right, good. And he yells out loud, Oh, that hurt. And with that, he is now back on the floor, and the torso up, looking towards the ceiling. It is now your turn to play. Josh, or should I say, All right. Dahlia. All right, check. All right. Ooh, 17. Oh, clean. You managed to get out of the moss, ripping out very violently and you stand now on top of the beast uh, I'm uh I'm gonna was that like all my movement getting out of it no 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 all right I'm moving away from it very good you move out of its area and what would you do next uh can can I activate the fire spear as a bonus action yes all right so I hit it twice on the thing to activate the spear it burns. What would you like to do next? Uh, that's all I can do this time. True, this. true, true, true. My bad. All right, with that, it is now Pollen's turn. Ah. <laughs> it fell. Good. He is. <laughs> is he defeated? No. Mm. Well defeated. I don't think he's not defeated. I will shoot him with my bow. Very good. Roll to hit. magic is not an option. Roll to hit. Is a lie. I am sad. Uh, 18. Very good. You managed to throw an arrow right into its head from the angle you got. You shoot it right under its arm as it was trying to get up, and you directly in its head. So roll for damage. Beautiful. 12. As the arrow reaches deep, deep into its head, 
you see a red crystal drop out. The moss creature then goes, oh, no, and he stands up, towering above you all once again. As he tries to grab the red crystal, it is now Sasha's turn. So, the red crystal just fell out? Like, is it... It's on the floor, where... maybe like 20 feet away from him. The arrow that um, Palin shot, shot the arrow out of its head. Uh, shot the I... crystal out of its head. Could I try to run to get it? Sure. Uh, actually, roll for athletics. <laughs> okay. It's a plus one on that one. I rolled a nine. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's see here. All right. As you run as fast as you can, trying to reach the crystal, you see the moss creature towering down and trying to grab it with its right hand as well, but you slide right under the hand and grab the crystal as you slide. The creature tries to grab you then, but misses his shot, and then goes, oh, no, as he stands back up again. You're now on the other side of his right hand as he turned away from you guys, and you have the crystal in your hands. Oh, it's so fascinating. Look at it. Oh, please break it. I don't. I don't know if I can do anything. Uh, you? Like... No, I'm think you're, I think you're done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. It's now the moss oh. creature's turn. Ah, oh, here we go. The moss creature crouches down, and you can see the moss pulsate as if it was wave. And then he smashes both his fists down near his feet, and he cries. Not like in the crying way, but he like screams out loud. The like room vibrates. Yeah, exactly. In frustration. He yells out loud, the room trembles, and then you see it. Moss coming from the walls, reaching for your feet. Roll oh. all dexterity. Oh, God. Oh, the divine. Oh, why would I you put me in this room? All right, so we got a 19 from Dahlia. 24. 24 from a four. Palin. A four. A four? All right, with that, <laughs> as you have the crystal, I mean, the, the little rock, the red rock, the little red crystal, whatever it, it is, you oh. you hold it in your hands, you look up in the air, and you're like, oh, you're so fascinated by it, but you don't realize the moss coming down and grappling you by the feet, um, actually <laughs> stopping right. you from moving. The other two, you realize, it, and you jump up in the air, dodging the the moss itself. My turn? Now it is, yep, it is your turn. Alright, uh, I don't want to get close to him yet. I'm casting uh, Produce Flame. Alright, Produce Flame, very good. Uh, 19 to hit. Alright, hold up. Uh, with that, very good. Yeah, yeah, that works. Then one d eight of uh, six damage of fire. Six. Damage. Yes. Very good. As you control both your hands, a light, a red flash comes out of it, and then a burst of fire. The moss creature falls crashes upon well the slates of stone breaking them the whole moss in the room seems to float for a moment and then burn as if in zero gravity into a red mist in the room all that lays is the staff broken but yet still the staff that you came to look for it is a victory for your party Congratulations. We All did right. it. We did it. Uh, ah. We are ah. amazing. Your <laughs> magic is <laughs> great. Nice, uh, the, uh... Oh, ew. Oh, it's dripping. Everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. Everywhere. <laughs> it was on my ankles. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. It's still here. I. This has been, of all the missions I've ever done within my lifetime, really gross. There was barf. There was moss, there was blood. Ew. That's 
I'm gonna go also, can you over... like break that crystal just in case? I'm gonna go over and pick up yeah. the two pieces of the staff. You grab both pieces of the staff. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I have a plus six. I'm wise. Big brain. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Hold up. As you grab the staff itself, you feel something. A call. An echo from afar. You turn around to face where Silver Star is, and you see it. As if it was a tunnel or a mirror leading you to a cell. You see the man that owned this staff, but not the other two, only Delia. The man with the staff, well, who owned the staff, turns to you and sees through the vision, stands up and reveals himself to be a tiefling, pure blood. And he goes, who are you? With an echo. How can you wield such a staff? The chosen uh, one. I knew but better. <laughs> uh. Yo, you're a tiefling too. Are you? Yes. You both just hear yes. You don't hear anything else. I Fine. agree. <laughs> the Victory chiefling was great. The chiefling in the vision Much says, indeed. "Yo, from the guild." Uh, then so there, be. there must be hope. Then you must answer the next call in the ember. The Your people woman. awaits you. Uh. You are the next druid of the tiefling people. Now, a, believe in yourself. Yes, of course it is. But believe in yourself. I will teach you. I'll be out of this cell soon. Good luck. And the vision <laughs> kicks you back to reality as you see both your friends looking upon Come the on. rock. Okay, decision time. Mm -hmm. I don't think we should give it to the man. I, I really Neither don't do feel I. comfortable with it. Okay, that's two against one. We'll go with you guys. I was really good with either, but I kind of funny because I'm. I will find that merchant. I mean, we should get the murky. The teleporting sails are going my arch. Oh, sorry. Am I mon? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, you have the staff. You're the cool person now. What does uh, it do? How does it feel? It feels good. It's broken though. I can't describe the good. Is it, like, tingly good? Is it, like, warm good? Is it cold good? I don't like cold good, personally. But what kind of good is it? I wish to know all the details. It's, it's a warm it. good. A warm good? Oh, that's amazing. Also, you were, like, mumbling to yourself up there, or you're, like, huh? crazy or something? Is that, I... Oh, it's because she also had the blood. Yeah, you talk yeah. to dead people? <gasps> that's so cool. Do you talk, do you talk, were you talking to the to the boss? And was he accepting you as your, just the true power that you wield of the true moss maiden? Your new name is Moss. <laughs> your new name is Moss. But there is no Moss maiden. Oh. Um, uh, let, let us just, uh, uh, no. let us just think of a way to uh, get this stuff out of here without giving it to him. Well, oh, yes, by the way, he's right at the, the entrance. I walked up the stairs, he's like, oh, you're done? I was like, no, and then he felt disappointed. I'm like, don't worry, this is fun. He's like, I don't believe you. Um, you I wonder if there's another way out. We can just, like, slip by and avoid him. I heard a rumor that <laughs> my hair smelt good. Could you tell me if it does? I'll take a smell of his hair. I put lots of me. clean stuff in it. Clean stuff. Clean stuff. All right. With that, the dungeon does feel empty, and the lights do come back to normal, revealing the room to be, well, nothing but a stone room with a bit of pillars on the outside, tieflings holding the ceiling. The pillars. They're, they're tieflings holding the ceiling. Anyways, you do Ooh, see the, the portal back where you entered to still be there. 
Ooh. It seems to be the way back and the only one. I'm going to peek my head through. You peek your head through the portal, revealing the other room with the tablet in front oh. of you and the four pillars. I can just I'm... imagine just his head, like just his face coming through. I poke my head back. Okay, it's not uh, giving us a different direction. There is one way and one way only. Ooh, or, no, that's me. I don't want to do that. I had a mean idea. What was like, it? Hey, old man, come in here. You're old and wise, and it's stuck in the ground. And because you're such intelligent and wise, you understand uh, uh, archaeology, and you can remove the staff of the stone because you are the chosen king, or I don't know, something. And we're like, come here, come here. Mm. And we push him into the spike trap. Well, that's mean, and I don't want to do that. Oh, man. But it's an option. But he did have garments with him. Oh, yes. Oh, they're probably stronger than us. I'm not saying I want to do that, but it's an option. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the option, but it's a very an strong option. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink. I don't like blood. I don't want to do that. It's killing an elderly person. I know old people. Some of them, like two. How, like, how big is the staff? The right? staff like, is about your height and a bit mm, taller. Let's say about the height of the elf in the group right now. Oh, man, I would wow. not be able to hold that. And, and it no, is... I'm sorry, half stack. You can't hold that. Yeah, no, it's way too tall for you. If I could oh, hold it and try. sneak away with it. Wait, wait, it's, it is broken, broken, though. Still. It is broken okay, in two, yeah. yeah. But if it was, like, repaired, it would be tall like uh, the elf. Right now, it's probably tall like... Uh, oh, your I legs? Super tall. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, no, we can't give to them. Can we? How are we going to get this past them? Does anyone have any illusion spells or? I no. I have. I shoot a poison spray into the air, but like away <laughs> from everybody. This is all I have, and it clearly did nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I got some in my eye. It was gross. Okay, give me uh, one moment. Okay, I, I have a disguise kit, and I have uh, Druidcraft. I'm gonna try and make this thing not like, like, it's like a golden staff or something like that, or like... It's, no, it's made of, it's like one solid piece of wood, but it's all darkened, and the middle of it is broken. Then on top, where, like, the crystal is, you see a green crystal surrounded by other green crystals representing like leaves and a fiery red sun behind it. Ah, oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna like try and cover that a bit like with flowers and stuff like that with the druid craft. Uh huh. Um, and uh, I don't know. Did you make the staff look like a vine or is that too intricate? Uh, yeah, try, try, try to make it look, look like, like moss, it maybe? Just be on my apparel. Moss. Just oh, yeah. okay, okay, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that could work. Um, yeah, roll me deception with advantage. Deception with advantage. What's my deception? Uh, plus four. We could always convince them that you just like to collect moss. Eighteen. Very good, very good. It looks very well disguised on your body. It fits perfectly with your apparel right now, and a normal passerby would not question why you have that. And the elderly would probably not remember that you had that. Okay, now we need someone to convince so it's, them it's that it wasn't here. Who will convince him that it was not here? I am... In, I think I'm pretty charismatic, but I'm not above and beyond. I, I, I what are your charisma score, I say? I'm a plus two, so... I you think are so you much to. better than this. Out of character, I have a minus two in charisma. So I have a you know. one. I have a plus one. You have a plus oh. two. You're naturally better. You're so worthy. Okay. Ooh, I have an idea. I don't like the idea, once again, but... <laughs> so, if you're now covered in moss, shouldn't we be covered in moss? Yes, let's do that. Let's, let's cover pick ourselves up in some moss. moss. That was such I a good idea. The crowd applauded. <laughs> I pick up some moss and I drop it on the small... Cool. But not, like, very violently or as peacefully as I can drop moss while also being disgusted. I could just... I just drew a crap some moss onto them. Ah! Some dry moss. Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> 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 
Oh I can't God. tell if you said smell or looks, so I'm going to assume smell and looks. You look uh, fine, and I will sniff the moss. Uh, all right, very good. With How that, you're covered moss, with no? uh, dry moss, and some of you are covered with, well, real moss. And you start Your going up the fine. stairs of the portal, ducking under the trap. Yep. With that, you start going up, and you reach the top of the stairs where you see the old man and the two of his guards well playing cards in the cart as they see you exit the old man almost as if he gained back his fucking young days jumps out of the cart yeah. and goes oh do you have it do you have it no there was nothing in there a lot of moss a lot of moss it was all a lie just there a was a moss creature in there that he attacked us. Roll it, I... deception. Ooh, 18. Let's see here. I'm, I'm really happy I have a silent dice roller. <laughs> you guys never know when I'm rolling. Okay. Oh, that's so smart. I need that. All right. With that, the man looks at you, squints his eyes. Wait a minute. It makes sense. There are plenty of them here. Uh, I, pro I should probably look elsewhere. Ah. God. Alkia, you should have blessed me today. It's all right. Here's your money. You did your work anyways. You explored the dungeon. Some other adventurers could not do the same thing, the same task as you did. So here you go. And he tosses a bag of coin your way. Inside of it, 250 gold. Sir, once you do Thank find you, the other ruins, I would happily help you. Well, as you know, my name is Chalice. And you that can way. always ring the Emperor to come and see me in the local court in the local museum of Silver Star. But usually I'm here, pounding and pestering these dirty tieflings. Of course. Anyways... You take care now. I'm not giving you, you a do. ride back. So, okay, walk no, through. We have a horse. Yes, yes, yes. Good luck. And he hops in the cart with both those guards and says, Let's go. Very angrily. Bye. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Bye. Yeah, asshole. It's like waving the cart... a little hand. Outside the of the moss. Yeah. yeah. As the <laughs> cart leaves. The moss off of her. Oh, geez, as, the cart... as the cart leaves, you're now left alone in the ember outside with the two parts of the staff. You walk back to your cart after maybe half a day and the lantern was not used. Oh, I use it. <laughs> <laughs> you use it and you find nothing though. Ah, I'm just, oh, it's mine now. He didn't take it. I have a necklace. Like I didn't pay that one person. And with but that? Then, well, actually, karma, because he stole my thing. That guy took my money, and then I got a free stick. With that, oh. you reach your cart, and you make your way back to the guild hall. Slowly, after four days of travel, another stop in that one tavern that you, well, met halfway. You make your way back to the city, well, the town of Timbertown, and see the guild hall. As you arrive there, you see the entirety of the guild hall waiting for you. In the inside. Do, do I still have that crystal? Or did it shatter with the rest of everything? Hold up. Uh, you still have that crystal, yeah. With that, you find yourself pushing the doors of the guild hall. Inside, everybody turns to you and claps. Yeah! They're all happy to see you all in one piece. And when you enter, dirty and raising your hands in victory. You bow, you said? Good. Yes. The guildmaster comes out, smiles, seeing you all alive, and says, Congratulations! I'm very happy to see you're all alive. Ah, such a day to have three new, in well, two new initiates. Sorry, Palin, I forgot you were still in the guild. You're very new, too. <laughs> Anyways, come on, it's time to celebrate. Drink a bit. The initiation tattoo will come very soon. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, of course, you get a tattoo on your, well, right arm when you join the guild. It's a of simple course. mark of stamp. You'll see, it's very simple. Your Vask will come your way to 
do that. You know, and with that, you all sit down at a table. Ori comes your way. She drops a red ale in front of you, and she says, Enjoy! It's free! It's from the house! And Thank she you. leaves the Thank table. You. Thank you so much. With that, you also see a few other guild members coming your way, shaking your hand, and congratulating you. Some of them have been, like, telling their tale of their first quest. You hear one quest about killing a few small dragons, another one about collecting mushrooms that attack them. Stuff like that. Ew. And then, you see Yorvesk. A big man with big forearms approach you. He's balding on the top and has a big mustache. And he goes, Well, congratulations on completing your first quest and welcome to the Guild of Valkia. And everybody claps. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You see him take out what seems to be a stamp, a magical stamp. He presses it upon your right arm and reveals to everyone that the seal is placed. As you look at it, you see the head of a dragon surrounded and holding a sword in its mouth. You're now part of the Adventurous Guild. Sasha is so stoked to belong to something and is very excited. With that, you finish your beer. You end the night there. There's a few things I'd like to do before the night ends. But actually... Before you could do that, oh, you no. do notice one thing in the tavern that seems to shake you. And that is not for, well, Palin and Sasha. You don't realize this. You're drinking and talking about your adventure. The only one that does realize that someone is staring at them is Delilah. As you turn around, you notice it seems to be a Nelvin figure looking at you. And with that, we'll end the session of today. Ah! <laughs> Awesome. Hey, fun, thank you everyone for tuning in. I had a great time today. I hope you hey, players as well amazing. had a fucking great time. Thank you for everybody who came out and stuck through it. Yes. And yeah, this is the first part of a four-part adventure, so tune in next week when we have the next chapter. Have a great time, and I everyone. I say uh, shout out to Holy Water for already making fan art and beautiful There's stuff. There's fan That's art already? Oh, already. Is it really? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so and excited. Stuff. All right, but with that, I, though, I have to say we're signing gear. out, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, gamers. Everybody say bye. 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 bye.